The Jungfrau region of Switzerland is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Located in the heart of the Swiss Alps, Jungfrau Jock is reached by Europe's highest train station. We caught a gondola from Grindelwald Terminal before transferring to the historic train that took us up to Jungfrau Jock, top of Europe. Well, coming up here to Jungfrau is truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. If you find yourself in Grindelwald, make sure you come up to the top of Europe. Look at that. This is one of the must-see attractions and its awe-inspiring scenery does not disappoint. In this video, we show you what to expect when going to Jungfrau Jock, top of Europe, before hiking down the Eiger Trail. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell so that you get notified whenever we post a new travel video. Look at this! Heading up the Eiger Express here. It's brand new. It's the best gondola, most modern gondola in the world. Eiger Express here in Grindelwald. Whoa, I'm looking forward to this. Going up to Jungfrau Jock is an adventure unto itself. Hop aboard the most modern tri-cable gondola in the world. The Eiger Express offers spectacular views of the Eiger and surrounding mountains as you ride for 15 minutes to the Eiger station where you'll transfer to the highest railway in Europe. Our guide Doris took us up to Jungfrau Jock for an unforgettable day in Switzerland. Here is Grindelwald where you stayed in the hotel. Yeah. Then we took the train to Grindelwald Grund yep. in the new terminal. And then we took the Eiger Express to Eiger Gletscher. That's where we are now. This mountain behind me, we are actually going to go into. They've tunneled in and we're taking a train through the mountain for seven kilometers. This is incredible. The journey from Eiger Station takes a historic cogwheel train for 26 minutes up the mountain through the Eiger and Monk mountain peaks. There is a five minute scenic stop during the trip to view the Aletsch Glacier before continuing on to Jungfrau Jock. A visit to Jungfrau Jock is more than just going to a scenic lookout. It is an interactive experience filled with multimedia displays and exhibits. We're going in the fastest elevator in Switzerland right now, six meters per second. Woo. After a quick introduction, our high-speed elevator whisked us up 100 meters to the Sphinx Terrace for panoramic views of the area. I'm at the top of Europe! Woohoo! <laughs> It truly is like a dream being up here. We have Jungfrau, the world famous peak right behind me. It's, it's spectacular coming up here. We're at the top of Europe at 3,454 meters, everybody. And it is the most incredible view of all these glaciers surrounding us. We have the high mountain peaks. We have the Lech Glacier on one side and the Eiger Glacier on the other. And you will, you really, if you do come, to this area, you have to make sure that you get up to the top of Europe. It's truly incredible. Have a little snack for the birds. These birds only live up here above 1800 meters. Aren't they beautiful? The Sphinx Terrace was our first stop outside and it offers complete 360 degree views of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can spend as long as you like outside taking in the views that reach as far as Germany and Italy. When you finish up, it's time to go inside to the Alpine Sensation. Hop aboard the moving sidewalk to see how the Jungfrau Railway was built. You'll see displays dedicated to designer Adolf Geyer Zeller and those who tackled this incredible feat of engineering. It's worth spending some time here before you enter the incredible Ice Palace. Time for the Ice Palace. This is so incredible. 
We are 25 meters under the glacier and they chipped through here to make it feel like what it would be like if you were under the ice. This is so cool, I did not expect this. The Ice Palace is a glacier tunnel that was dug in the 1930s. Covering 1,000 square meters under the Aletsch Glacier, this series of tunnels and corridors take you through a fairy tale maze of displays where ice sculptures line the hallways. Next, what can I get you at the ice bar? The whole thing is ice. It's so smooth to touch. The floor is ice. All around us is ice. They chipped into this. It's incredible. The work that has gone into this place is amazing. Look at this. It's all ice around me. Coming up to Jungfrau is really a multifaceted tour. You have the lookout point and then you go through the ice palace where you walk through a glacier 25 meters under the ice that they, that they cut out in the early 1900s. And then you come out and you walk on the snow for these spectacular panoramic views of the mountains. There's so much to do, you need an entire morning. Well, this is it, I have the flag, I'm at the top of Europe. And I didn't even have to climb here, I just took an elevator. Yeah! Once you are finished at Jungfraujak, you have your choice on how to get back down. You can take the gondola or you can hike the Eiger Trail. All right, we're right at the start of the Eiger Trail here where we're heading down to El Pigland. It's going to be beautiful views. What a day. All right, I'll see you down there. I'm catching the gondola. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is incredible. This is just the start of the hike. It only gets better from here. So this is a really famous hike that we're doing here, the Eiger Trail. It's about two and a, two to two and a half hours to walk down. Uh, if you're Dave and I, it'll probably be three because we stop a lot for photography and to show you the beautiful views. But it's great because you take the gondola up and then you can walk down. It's just mostly downhill with a few uphills. So it's a perfect way to get a hike in the Alps without really overexerting yourselves. <laughs> Holy cow, the views around here, every time you turn your head, it's another more spectacular scene. So I don't think it gets any more Swiss than this. We're up on the uh, Eiger hike and we came up here upon a whole bunch of Swiss cows. How amazing is this? The backdrop combined with these beautiful animals. Come on, this is so Swiss. The cows here are up here for three months of the year during the summer and they go in twice a day to be milked because they still make the cheese while they're up here, but they're just sent out to pasture, enjoying the high life. Literally, the high life. What a spectacular scene. You got cows, the eiger, and beautiful weather. What a view. We have the glacier behind me, the gondola going, the wildflowers and the rock face. I couldn't ask for more. Wow. Well, it says it takes about two hours to do this hike, but uh, 
It's really hard to do it in two hours because it's just so beautiful. I just keep going, okay, I'm gonna hike for a little while. And then I turn a corner and there's another scene or there's another cow or there's another glacier. It's just so beautiful. Uh, I would say let's go for three hours. Well, that was amazing. We just hiked the Eiger Trail from the top down to the bottom and it is just one of the best hikes I've ever done. And if you come here to Switzerland, you gotta make sure you do at least the Eiger Trail while you're here.